Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here from the Hermit Craft server. Yes, you know it. <laughs> How you doing guys? How you doing guys? Uh, have another grind week behind me. Man, little did I know that little kids get fevers when they grow teeth. And little doggy has been growing teeth like crazy and has been having fevers like crazy. So yeah, the last week was quite chaotic again. <laughs> Had to <laughs> Look to find some time to play some Minecraft, man. Ah, dad duties. But you know how it is. Family first. <laughs> but yeah, as usual, by the way, guys, today, epic thumbnail. Check this out. Whoa. Bell Marcy, again, you know, commissioned uh, some work from them as well already in the past. But uh, yeah, they got stuck uh, somewhere in a parking garage and had two hours on their hands and quickly, you know, came up with this masterpiece of the ginormous walking goat robot with the dragon in the... Hey man, look at this. Ah, I just love this fan art so much. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, Belmasi. Another crazy banger. What are we doing today? Well, before we do anything, I gotta announce something I've been pretty hyped about. Um, yeah, it is time. Check this out. And here it is. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Yes. <laughs> the first official Doc M77 YouTube figurine. Uh, that is crazy. You know how long this took? Like uh, more than half a year, hundreds of emails back and forth. YouTubers must think I'm crazy by now because, yeah, I was never satisfied. And eventually, <laughs> finally, with some last minute changes, um, adding a tomato, um, I yeah approved it and said okay this is cool let's let's do it i love it and uh, hopefully yeah you guys uh, love it too got the goat horns um all our important features um the shoes <laughs> yeah i i just love it the packaging also looks really cool um, I have to say, I have the, the box at home already um, with gold. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, there's a lot of detail in it. And I think it's a, a cool collectible um, for sure. Uh, the official drop is uh, January 27th. Um, so next Friday, it will be available. Worldwide shipping, of course. And then as you can see here in uh, July to August, um, yeah, you will receive your item. It'll take some time to produce, you know, all of these are individually made then and um, it's not like huge scale production it really depends how many orders are coming in and yeah of course there is also a giveaway and yeah let's check that out real quick all right and here's the giveaway link of course in the video description and yeah you have uh, individual steps you can follow here to increase your chances right each action is worth one entry in the raffle which is hosted by youtube and yeah good luck um, hopefully you win one and yeah don't miss the drop next week i'll remind you again you can be sure about that <laughs> yeah yeah pretty close <laughs> Man, so much work went into this thing. I hope I hope you like it. Um, yeah, looking forward to see what you guys say about it in the comment section. And yeah, uh, talking about epic events. <laughs> we got the YouTube figurine, but uh, there was one event that just happened. I've been waiting, I don't know, maybe 10 years for. <laughs> you won't believe it, but <laughs> check it out. Oh, snappers. <laughs> this is one of the rare, very rare, almost never happening occasions where you find ESO. AFK. <laughs> Look what I brought. Mm, what is he doing? Okay, he's running his moss production here, I'm thinking. Now, where do you turn that whole thing off? Um, it all starts over here. He's sitting here. Is there a lever? No, stuff comes around here. There's a clock running. I don't want to, you know, <laughs> in case he dies. And then stuff ends up here. Where is your lever, my friend? Where is the lever 
<laughs> yeah. You know, you don't know where he has his spawn set in case he dies and uh, you know, we don't want to unload the area and break something that is... Uh, if you want to prank the lord of Minecraft, you gotta be mindful. There he is. Now we just need to go up, get an anvil kill on Etho. That's on my bucket, li bucket list for years. This is a chance. It's the biggest chance ever. Okay. It's right there. Alright. Gonna get some height on it. Hopefully there's no lava flowing down now or anything that would... <laughs> oh man! Please don't come back. It's super early for me, very late for Etho. I'm thinking he's having a sandwich or a coffee and then we'll soon be back. Like Etho typically never really AFKs. Like no chance you find him AFKing. So I was like, huh? Wait, great out name? He might be AFK. Came over. <laughs> and there he is. Okay. You gotta be careful. Only drop one anvil at a time. If items lay on there, they can get squashed. should be an achievement for that if you know the history of Etho and his anvil kills getting an anvil kill on Etho is should be an official minecraft achievement okay we're going high up we want to make sure all right higher up <laughs> oh man shaking <laughs> I almost feel like this is this is offending a god <laughs> this is heresy <laughs> but I have to no see oh no yep the minecraft gods say don't do this So, in case gravel falls onto him, nothing will happen. Pro, professional Minecrafter. Okay, okay, okay. A little bit higher. him on Discord, go, hey, so look up. No, no, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. Oh, yeah, replay mod. Okay. A little bit higher up. <laughs> Just want to make sure. Oh, man, I don't know how high I should. No research done before. Okay. It's been 10 years I've been waiting to get Ethel with an anvil. Oh my god, we did it. Like, we first did this back on the de in the days on the, her <laughs> on the Minecraft server. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Got Ethel with the anvil kill. Okay, gotta save his gear, of course. There's a crafting table. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, nothing is running here anymore. <laughs> yes! Okay, we're cool. We're cool. Okay. I hope, you know, he was trying to AFK for some bone meal here, I think. If he needs bone meal, we can give him some. <laughs> we got plenty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Can't believe it. Got my Etho Anvil kill. Yes! <laughs> you are never AFK. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, we made a group. Okay, let's, let's try them real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? This guy, man. <laughs> you tried to get me in season 8, too. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. I was so nervous. I knew. Did I even say, yeah, he might just go for a coffee, a quick sandwich. He will be right back. <laughs> I thought I heard something, too. I was like, oh, should I check it out? No, oh, it's fine. Hey, but it was a professional assassination. I switched off all your farms beforehand, so nothing can break. Oh, okay. Uh, Very nice. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. Dude. Yes. This is a big achievement. You know, I'm trying to get this for 10 years or something. Ever since you did it uh, to Generic B back in the days on the Mind Track servers. <laughs> <laughs> it is so hard to get Admiral kills. I know. But I, I always felt a little bit cheap because you were, you know, defenseless just sitting there. But and That's yeah. the only way you're ever going to get them, trust me. Uh, okay, okay. We'll see about that. <laughs> if you get it on a moving target... With one anvil dock, uh, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pure luck. I mean, but you know, you have to try. Eventually, yeah. <laughs> it might happen. <laughs> so, what, what do you, what have you been up to, man? <laughs> I, I've been building farms like crazy here to, and testing them, and yeah, that's I, all. I stop for a moment for coffee, and <laughs> apparently, I'm getting squashed by anvils too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. So there's there's some some craziness going on down there. <laughs> what is it like I'm bone meal? You need. Yeah, it's a bone uh, meal farm. Uh, cool. <laughs> doing flower farms next, and oh wow, just trying to get all my farms made so I can actually do some building. Yeah, guess what I will be doing today after a year of season and making a storage room. <laughs> Oh really? <laughs> Finally, <laughs> unreal. Well, I, it's not that important of a project, you know. No, not at all. You know what cost it, it though? You know what cost it? Like since little Doki is here, right? Uh, a two-year-old causes chaos wherever they go. Within five minutes, they can turn a room into an absolute mess. So all I've been doing for the last two years is cleaning stuff up, and there's always still a mess in our apartment. So now I came on the server here, and my last project it took me an hour to find all the resources I needed with all the chests everywhere. And it annoyed me so <laughs> yeah. much that I said, okay, now at least in my Minecraft world, I want to have some organization in order. So and now I'm going <laughs> to actually do the storage room. <laughs> yeah. Are you going for a search engine? Oh, it sounds like it would be perfect for you. I have a, I have a good one, a multi-storage system that is quite flexible and whatnot. Um, Are you so doing the, the big daddy -o one? That it's relatively big. But it, it sh yeah. uh, shrunk down to a decent size. I think it's it's manageable. It's not insane. I have like 48 categories or so. 
So yeah. Oh okay. Should be alright. But yeah, for Redstone, I might. I uh, actually was looking f uh, into search engine. That would be cool to have a dedicated one only for Redstone components. Could make it pretty fast as well. I think if it's only, you know, so yeah, few if components. Yeah, you don't put too much stuff in. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's the plan now. And I got to start. I have a hole. That's all I have. <laughs> now I need to start building. Oh, you're not doing it in the sandstone area? Oh, it is under the under the base. But you oh, know, okay. I have the biggest hole on the server. But decided to build everything I want to build in the walls. So I need to dig more holes. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> it was not the smartest choice. <laughs> oh, well. Oops! Looks like an anvil dropped on you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you found it. <laughs> But finally back. <laughs> yep. I feel like, you know, we're always buddy-buddy. I feel like I need to go to war with you or something. Uh, come on, no, Ethan. Don't do this. I mean, you're, you're my biggest idol. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you would be a good person to go to war with. Oh, that. yeah. Be fun. I'd love it, man. <laughs> I'd love it. You know, I'm trying to get a little war going with my neighbors, but they're, I don't know. They just kind take of, it. They never give it, right? Yeah, they, they poked me a little bit, but, you know, nothing really happening. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> this is an official declaration of war, I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'll find out. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start. I feel like i got to return uh, this anvil to you, though, somehow. Uh, somehow. Maybe you catch me AFK one of these days. The problem, the problem is your base. Like I could never surprise attack you because it's a giant opening. Uh, well, yeah, and I'm also rarely AFK. <laughs> that too, yeah. Well, good luck, my friend. Good luck. Uh -huh. May the best anvil dropper win. <laughs> so may the best anvil dropper win, hey, eh? <laughs> eh? Oh man, I feel like I really poked the bear. The Canadian grizzly bear. Now I'm constantly paranoid. I don't know if this was a good idea. As soon as Ether is on, I need to look up now. He's not... Normally he's not forgiving with things like that. And he's also playing the long game like I do. <laughs> For the next 10 years, I have to watch my back, man. <laughs> but yeah, as you heard in the bit with Ether already, right? I am ready to finally... Um, create a storage room <laughs> and I dug a hole uh, which yeah it, I know it's kind of really a meme like for real I have this giant perimeter and um, yeah as soon as the duel with Scar is done I can uh, you know start building more farms in there but it's it's smack in the middle of everything and it's blocking the next farming project so you know <laughs> hope we can get that duel done soon but yeah one thing's for sure last time when we were making the goat over there right our um, watchdog walking mech goat in case you haven't seen the episode yet <laughs> I highly suggest checking it out it's a really cool build um yeah, I, it took me like 90 minutes to collect all the resources uh, for the thing beforehand. And um, it was not like they had to craft some stuff. It was just uh, my crazy mess. And, you know, we're making fun of Scar having a chest monster. I mean, here in Goatland, it is definitely not looking much better. I have Schalke boxes everywhere with most random stuff i mean kind of thematically ordered like here there's a lot of building materials that would go into hall of goat for example right but then up front here i have all kinds of random trash mixed together then all the stuff that is actually sitting up there tons of shulker boxes with completely random stuff and then lately um, I've started a new, you know, chest monster down here. And this has been my main preparation area at the moment where I gather my stuff to, you know, build project. And then more Schalke boxes uh, show up with kind of leftovers of projects. Like, yeah, it's like, yeah. We reached a point where I cannot take it anymore. And, uh, you know, this whole, uh, you know, I need to get rid of the chaos effect is also in, yeah, reinforced by Doki. Uh, believe me, a two-year-old can, you know, create chaos within seconds. Like, uh, you put him in a room for a minute, you come back, everything is... <laughs> In, uh, utter chaos so you know i cannot deal with chaos anymore and as i cannot yeah cannot combat it in real life um, you know doggies exploring doing their thing right um 
I need to have order, more order here in Minecraft. And that's why we're going to start our storage project. It's going to be a multi-storage uh, system, you know. And the design is by the Glotzeriffy, aka Glotz, um, yeah, who um, is really, really good with storage tech. And yeah, I love to work with him. I've been working with him on several projects in the past. Um, he has a really cool server community, by the way, tech server. I'm going to put his Twitch uh, link in the video description. Check out all the info there. It's really cool for his Twitch subscribers and Patreon subscribers. He has uh, this tech server and they are working on really cool projects. So if you're looking for a highly technical server to hang out with, you know, um, check it out. I, I can only recommend it. This is a cool dude, very nice friend of us, you know, part of the Psycraft too. So yeah, um, feel free to support Glotz. Uh, support the people that support me. That's my message, right? I mean, you know, without Glotz, um, could never have designed the storage system that quickly. So yeah, um, I guess I'm going to start building. Um, here are a ton of blocks. Um, and building blocks and um, yeah I start with a few layers build a few slices and um, yeah see how far we get today um, digging out this hole was a grind that took way too long already <laughs> so yeah let's let's do some build drama all right that is coming along nicely I've just spent a long time placing chests and hoppers <laughs> <laughs> so we have a basic layout here. So here you can see individual cells. Each of these lines obviously represents one category, which we're gonna have uh, 48 of. For example, I don't know, you know, oak. And then it's oak lock and every building block that comes from oak and so on. And um, yeah, uh, on each slot we have five double chests of storage. That's uh, the size requirements I was going for. You know, I'm not going to store your bulk amount of items. The main goal is when I do a build project, I come back and then just throw it into the automatic sorting system and all the leftover bits are taken care of. And then for the next building project, I can come in and grab more stuff. For bulk storage, for example, I have a cobble farm somewhere else or the main bulk, um, you know, of my logs. I'm storing with the fully automated log farm and so on. And here I'm storing the bone meal, you know, so I don't need huge amounts of bulk storage. But, you know, for all these bits and pieces and finally reorganize them, that's going to be so satisfying and it's going to be an easy job then. Just walk up to the machine, take one of the shulker boxes, pop it in and boom, bing, bang, the thing will sort itself and we'll be good. So yeah, now as the basic layout is done, it's time to build some redstone mechanics. Yeah. Man, this is another one of these crazy builds. Very, very compact and dense redstone with a lot of components and a lot of power levels and so on. Yeah, this will be... A lot of troubleshooting afterwards, I can already tell. Um, what I need to do now is I need to get up there and yeah, these individual chests up here you can see, those here, those are the ones uh, we can set our filters then. For now we need to fill all 48 of them with these blockers, nuggets. And then later we can program in, I don't know, if we want to have uh, scaffolding going to this chest, right? We would just program that in here in the filter with two items that's needed for the filtering process. And yeah, then everything that comes through that is scaffolding goes in there. And yeah, we will have neat categories all over the place. But yeah, it will be still some ways to go. Um, we will see if we can finish the whole dealio in this episode. Um, what I need to build still is the control unit here that pretty much goes into the middle. And yeah, all the segments are connected already, as you can see with these hopper lines, right? Um, so yeah, the control unit here is also not a quite complex piece of redstone. We'll see, we'll see. I'll keep on grinding and um, we'll see what we have in the end. Oh yeah! a storage system can you believe it <laughs> after a year of playing we finally have a storage system and i triple and double checked 
and I think we should be good, no items missing anywhere. We can do our first test runs for our item filters. So, as I said, we have um, 48 categories and, you know, for example, um, oak logs or oak related materials is one category. And now I'm going to show you how you set these filters. So up here we have these chests, right? And um, yeah, in these chests we can determine what items end up in a certain slot. So for this slot we want to have, for example, oak stuff. So for now, for our first test, we always need two filter items. Let's put those in and replace a blocker with it. Right, so oak logs. So if we put oak logs in the system, it should end up here. So we can do a test and yeah, it's right at the beginning of the sorting system. So it should be also really quick uh, to do this job. And yeah, input is here, this Schalke box. And I'm gonna toss uh, yeah, these 48 um, oak logs into the system. And now the system starts processing. Schalke box gets broken, item get flushed up. Um, towards the sorting system and yeah we should see some blinking up there yes that's a good sign that's a good sign yes the filter triggered and um, is sending all the oak logs down here perfect that is very nice to see okay that was a very easy and quick test here the first first slice but yep all 48 made it here. Perfect. Okay, now let's pick a random slice and uh, set up a filter for something else for the chests, for example. Just here, um, for testing purposes. And um, yeah, let's set up that filter here. This is two chests in there. And now let's throw the chests into the system and um, see if they will make it um, to the right destination. And then um, we can do some more complex uh, jobs for the system. But hopefully everything works and we should see blinking lights all over all over the system. Kind of trying, the system trying to figure out where stuff needs to go. And then eventually the filter up here should trigger. And we should see stuff coming in here after processing is done. I mean it takes a while to go through the system. Um, but yeah, it's quite fast. Okay, let's see if you made it here already. Not yet. Ah, everything got emptied though. So now, yeah, now we're running through the system. As you can see, blinking lights. It's checking, it's checking. No, no filter here. No, the item doesn't fit here. The item doesn't fit here. Okay. Okay. Good. And now we should make it to here uh, and then one blink indicates the filter found its target and yes the chests are making it to here oh yeah perfect all right that's good that's good that's good now of course we can throw other stuff in right and it's being processed then and so on but yeah we don't want to over uh, stretch what the system does at the moment uh, in case there's a bug and we can find it easy but all chests made it here okay now we're gonna throw the wood and the chest uh, in there to be processed boom as soon as you close the Schalke box it starts to be processed empty Schalke boxes um, that were you know processed in the system end up here you can reuse them and just put it back into the system or take them with you um, however you like. Yeah, as soon as the Schalke box is emptied, yeah, okay, the processing should start and we should see things happening. Okay, let's wait a bit and um, see if the system sorts. And yeah, uh, in the meantime, I can show you what else is going on. Oh yeah, we can throw some other items um, in there that are not categorized. They should all end up here and in case there's some overflow, right? In case the slices are full, um, stuff will end up here too. And yeah, right now the system is processing again. Cool, cool. It's doing its thing. Oh man, that's so good to see. Okay, and soon we should reach uh, this side. Okay, now the items are being processed. And um, yeah, here we should see, yeah, the locks are already done processing. Nice, nice, nice. And now, yeah, we'll make our way over. The items are passed through the yeah, filter checkup units. 
and then um, yeah they end up at their destination boom and now they should should be coming out here yes perfect oh boy i think we have a working system here <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Okay, yeah, and then unstackables, right? Let's say we toss a sword or something in. It should um, come out here. Let's test it. Do let's do off another test. Let's throw in our sword and throw in this diorite, which should uh, you know end up in the yeah unsorted chest. Okay, sword, diorite, and all right. Let's see. Okay, stuff is being processed, boom, yeah, nice, 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 okay, and we're going through the filter system again, checking, guess that is our sword going through at the moment, and hopefully, um, yeah, we get that back here, and stuff that was not assi assigned here, if that is the case, we can be pretty sure we have a, we have a nicely working system. So, uh, fingers crossed and <laughs> see where, where stuff end, ends up. Are we still processing? Okay. Yeah, we're still processing. Mm -hmm. mm. Are we? Why don't I, do I see no blinking lights? Oh, if I lost my sword now somewhere in this monster of a system, I'm going <laughs> to be quite stressed out. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. That means something... Something might be wrong. <laughs> Maybe one filter was not set perfectly or something. I have to check. Oh boy. Okay, let's first check down here if, if stuff somehow ended up here. I don't think so. Maybe it also just takes a while to go through the system. I mean, it's all the way at the end of the whole processing line. Okay, I mean, can't... Okay, nothing ended up randomly here. I'm pretty sure I double and triple checked all the filters. So we should be good. Okay, that's that's decent. Let's check here again. Oh, okay. The diorite arrived. But where is our sword? Aha! There it is. Okay, we're cool. We're cool. Um, it is uh, was stuck in this uh, hopper here. But when the next unstackable would come through, it would be unlocked and then go through. So, all good. All good. It works. All the tests actually were successful. Can't believe it. <laughs> With such a complex build. I mean, there's uh, a little bit missing down here. So, you can see this output there, the torch. Yes, this one. This will go to a chunk loader. But this will require me to move some of my portals around. My main portal here, uh, I need to move around and uh, connect it actually with the hub. With the proper netter hub. <laughs> Can you believe it? And um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's also been a year while I've been dwelling on the roof. Not having any proper connection to the hub. And yeah, that's also going to change now. <laughs> We're making big moves here, guys. Okay, but let's take this out. One thing's for sure, over there is going to be the log, and there's going to be more log variants. There's going to be stairs and everything related, and then all other logs. And yeah, we get into categorizing um, in the next episode, I would say. I spent way too much time building this thing. And oh yeah, I also got word by Scar. He's still a little bit sick and has said yeah he hadn't had time to check on the server at all um, so I don't want to stress him out um, you know first he needs to discover our invite right then we can duel I hope you know um, you guys are okay with it I know you you guys are eagerly awaiting the duel between Scar and I but you know if somebody is sick and uh, recovering that's not uh, when you want to challenge somebody right um, you want to challenge them when they're fit and at their best so you can say, hey, I beat you at your your own game. So yeah, um, cool project here with the sorting system. It's really flexible and I think, um, yeah, we should have a good time with that. We can also make it look really epic. 
Yeah, that's just also a cool project to start building down here. Then I want to make a cool uh, big open entrance leading out to here. And then we mirror that entrance design for the speed craft here. And then I saw two big morales here on the walls. Yeah, this is, I have some, some cool ideas. Everything is coming together. But yeah, really happy about that one. Um, once again, big shout outs to Glotz. Um, all the important links in the video description. Don't forget, <laughs> the, the YouTube's figurine is coming out. And yeah, if you want to join the Storage Tech Discord, yeah, there is a Discord server that is solely dedicated to crazy storage technology in Minecraft. Links in the video description. <laughs> All right. So yeah, thank you so much, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And hopefully next week, the duel will happen. I'm out. Bye, guys.